welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today I want to talk about budgeting and prepping and how those two can work together to really accelerate your prepping and help you get your supplies and pantries and everything you need in order so you're prepared. Thing I think everybody notices when they start prepping is it can be quite expensive. Some of the things that you want to get are pretty expensive and I although I think it's important to get the best deal you can and some things we can definitely squeak by with a cheaper item. Other things you really need good quality. You don't want to be skimping when you are working on protection for your home and family um, generators you are going to need something big enough to work for your family especially if you have medical needs and things like that that require you to run electricity nebulizers CPAP machines things like that you are going to want good quality items but figuring out how you're going to pay for those items you look at them and the prices are just so stinking high we really feel like how on earth am I ever going to get that? I'm not going to be able to afford it. That's not in my budget. Well, when we start really looking at our budgets, cutting things away that we don't need, and maybe making a few sacrifices for the long haul, we are going to need to make sure we have what we need to get us in well, our today, family. I thought I would just go over some of the things that my family has done that has really helped us. Uh, we do not have a huge budget. We live pretty cheaply on the amount of money that we have for the size of our family. I mean, we have six people that we have to feed and house. So we want to live the best we can and we also want to be able to be prepared. So budgeting was a huge thing for that. But the first thing that I think really was the most helpful was research. Research everything. You want to take the time and research through. If you are looking at water filters, there are 400 million water filters out there. Which one is going to be best for you? And is one better than the other? I know some people are stuck on one certain brand. That's the only brand. But... That's not the only one that works. There are a lot of ways to go about water filtration. There are even ways to do it that don't cost anything. So figure out, figuring out what it is that your family is going to need, whether it be water filtration, emergency heat, anything like that. Um, figuring it out, researching what's going to work best for you, I think is a really great way to get started. Um, and even if you've been prepping for a while, there are still those things that we all want. I don't think anybody ever is done prepping. You know, there's always that other thing that we really would like to get. And we'd like it to make sure that it's going to provide for our family when we need it. Sometimes it's a high-end item. Sometimes it's just getting, you know, 100 extra pounds of rice in the house because things just continue to get more and more crazy every day. So making sure that we're able to get those things in is really important. The next thing is inventory what you have in your home already. That is another big one. My husband and I were campers and hikers and we still love it, but we're older and we don't do it as much as we used to. Um, I'm not hiking Mount Washington anymore, but um, getting old, <laughs> but we had all this equipment, so it was really helpful for emergency stuff. We've got headlamps, lanterns, sleeping bags for minus 20 degrees, things like that. We had those things kicking around in the closets, in our camping gear, um, just sitting there. So making sure, seeing what you actually have, because if you've got camping gear there, you've got a lot of emergency supplies there, really. Um, you can go into those. And uh, if you don't, once you have that list of what you have, 
you already have it, then you can narrow down your list for the things that you really need as far as emergency supplies. And also your pantry. You want to make sure you have a full pantry and the more stuff you have in your pantry, the cheaper you can eat. Food is one of those things that we really, we eat pretty cheaply and not just from the pantry. We eat a lot of fresh. We grow some vegetables. We grow herbs. We raise chickens. We have bees. There are things that we do to help us so we're able to have some of those things. You know, you want access to those fresh things and you don't want to sacrifice quality um, because of the price. The next thing that really helped us was making a plan. How are we going to attain these goals? We wanted to get to a certain amount of food in the pantry. We wanted to make sure we had all of these emergency supplies. How, you know, making a plan on how you're going to get to these goals is very important. Um, that plan, if you just keep on top of it and keep following it, you will get there. And even if it's slow, slow and steady wins the race, I say, every time. Nothing is going to happen overnight. None of us have a million dollars sitting in the bank to go out and do this stuff. So we've got to plan for it. And the next thing was budget for it. Um, we took right off the bat, the first thing we did when we first started prepping, it was the pantry. And that was something that was important to us. We started getting all these kids. And what if something happened to one of our jobs? We need to make sure we can at least feed these children. Um, so we have four kids. And it was something that I was concerned with. If one of us lost our job, how would we make it? And lo and behold, I had lost my job for a while, and thank goodness we had a pantry. It really saved our skin until I could get back to work. So making, getting a budget together and just going over, cut where you can. There's all kinds of stuff you can cut out. A lot of us live with more than others. Sometimes there isn't anything to cut out. But if you once you start prepping, we found that the food was the first thing we were able to cut on because when we started buying 10, 20 pounds of meat at a time because it was on sale, is we really saved a ton of money. We got to a point where we do not buy meat unless it's on sale now. We don't buy any top price meat. If it's regular price, it is not coming home with us. So but we have plenty, you know, we always have plenty in the house and I may buy 20 pounds of chicken this week and I may not buy any meat for a couple of weeks, but next time I see beef on sale, I may buy 10 or 20 pounds of beef or 50 pounds. It depends on how good the sale is and how much I've got in the little, little stash to buy that stuff. So if you are just starting off and you can only take five or ten dollars from your food budget or from somewhere else, taking that and putting it into foods that you eat, into your pantry that are shelf stable, or if you can get, you know, a 20 pound bag of rice, if you have ten, only ten dollars, you know, buy a 20 pound bag of rice and if you eat beans or lentils, a couple pounds of those to get started is a great way to go. And then when you are cooking your meals, you can incorporate some of this stuff and it helps you save down the road. So it just kind of keeps snowballing as the more you do it, the more you can snowball it and save that money. So you know, this is my buy price, this is when I'm gonna buy it. And that the more you can save that way, then you build up this stash and you can definitely start working more on your pantry or start splitting that money up to go towards those emergency supplies. That $200 water filter that you want, it, you know, it's not attainable normally, but you were able to save that money by snowballing the prices and through and getting it and now you have extra cash. You can grab those 
more expensive items to get into your emergency supplies so you and your family will have them when they're, when they're needed. Sales, coupons, um, store rewards, things like that, all of that can help out and help build up what you have. And even if it's $5 a week, within a couple of months, I usually every couple of months we reevaluate our budget we like to look at okay here this is where we are these are the things we need these are the things that we can cut how come i spent so much money on this you know but sometimes we do a lot more traveling than normal and when we do that traveling you know grabbing a coffee grabbing a bite to eat, something like that. It definitely, those kind of things really suck up money. So we try very, very much when we go out, we know we're going to be gone for a few hours or we know we're going to be gone all day. We try to pack a lunch, bring our own coffees, you know, bottle of water. If you bring them from home, you're saving a ton of money. And we know people from all walks of life whether they are on social security and barely scraping by. Um, you know, there are all sorts of people that we know that do this in different ways. If you decide that your way is going to be to stock beans and rice and heck, you might want to have your family eat beans and rice for a week to save extra money, you know, it's definitely a way to go. Some people are willing to sacrifice a little bit more than others. I know we have sacrificed a lot of things to be able to get to where we are in our prepping journey. And it's definitely something that we have to look at. Um, what our family, what we can sacrifice for our family and what we cannot sacrifice for them. You know, we have found alternative ways to do things that were substantially cheaper finding different types of entertainment is definitely a big one instead of going to the movies once a week having a board game night or a movie night make special popcorn at home you can save a ton of money with this stuff and you're still you're entertained you're spending time with your family which is so so important and you are able to save money to put away for those emergency items and your emergency food and things like that. So whether it's rice and beans or all freeze dried food, or maybe you have no protection for your family, these are all things that we need to make sure that we have and we are able to get. And with budgeting and saving and paying attention to every single penny, I think it is attainable for everyone, even on the smallest of the budgets. It can definitely be done. If you have any tips that you do to help save and so you can put more money towards your preps, please put them in the comments down below. It really helps other people and that is what this community is all about making sure that we're all helping each other and being prepared the best that we can for us and our families. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.